this episode of In the Spotlight, we have somebody who's pretty and cool as confetti, Athiya Shetty. Hi, Athiya. That rhymed, almost, kind of. Practice. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. So, when did you decide to become an actor? Um, I've always wanted to be an actor. So, I think when I was three years old, I used to stand in front of the television and dance to Madhuri Dikshit's Aik Do Teen. Um, I used to go for every single movie and I always had a rule, no matter how bad the movie was, I wouldn't leave. That's such a good rule. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. So, um, I've always just enjoyed dancing, being the center of attention, um, did a lot of theater in school. So, yeah, I've always wanted to be an actor. And I believe you also went with your dad to many of his shoots and the sets. Yeah. How was that? What did you soak in from that experience? Um, actually, I wasn't allowed to go on the sets because my mom was really particular. So she wanted me to like have the most normal childhood possible. I went to the American School of Bombay. Nobody knew who my dad was. So it was really nice growing up like in a very normal environment. Um, I did go on sets, but not too often. I remember the first set I went to um, was Umrao Jan. And I remember sitting as Ash used to get ready. And that's when I just, I was like, this is what I want to do. And I used to just look up to her and just admire her. And uh, anything about Ash that you observed that you would like to share with the audience? Um, she's just, she's very humble and very polite. Like no matter who's around her, um, she treats everybody the same. And I think that's really important in our profession. Um, so yeah, and she's super hardworking. But everybody is, I guess, in today's time. But she's just so like dedicated to her work. When she's working, nothing else matters except her work. And what did you learn from your father as an actor? My father as an actor. I don't know about the acting part of it um, because I never actually watched his movies growing up because he did a lot of action films. Yeah. So I'd just be too scared. I remember watching Border when I was six and howling thinking my father is dead and then he walks in and I'm like, what's happening? Um, but as a human being, I've learned a lot from him and I think that's something I cherish the most. Give us pointers. What is uh, Sunil Shetty as a person? He's extremely emotional. He wears his heart on his sleeve, even though he looks like this macho man. He's not. He cries at a drop of a hat. Um, India will be playing a match and somebody um, scores a certain amount and he'll start crying. Um, he's just... He's a very giving person and he's extremely humble and um, yeah, so I think those are the things I'm trying to imbibe. And now that you're older and you do realize that he's acting in a film yeah. and he will walk through the door even yeah. though he might be unconscious, um, which of his films have you really enjoyed watching? Um, I loved Hira Feri. That was my favorite. I can still watch it and it's my all-time favorite. I love Dharkan. Um, yeah, those are my top favorite films. In real life, who's your hero? Uh, my hero in real life. Well, my grandfather was my hero and he passed away actually when I was in London um, shooting for Mubaraka. So yeah, he's my hero. Why? Um, just because of the way he's raised us. Um, his ideologies is all, have always been extremely modern. Um, and just encouraged all his grandchildren, even though were girls, to work. And I think that's, that's really nice. I remember um, hearing stories about him while growing up and how he sent both my buas to America along with my dad to study because he felt that their education is as important. So he's, he's extremely liberal and um, yeah, he never differentiates between a boy and a girl. If you could steal someone's career, whose would it be? Steal someone's career? Um, I don't know about stealing. Stealing, I definitely want to make my own. Um, steal someone's career. I don't know. Okay. Uh, if you can have another job on the set apart from acting, what would it be? A stylist, for sure. Because I love clothes, I love putting clothes together. Um, so yeah, definitely a stylist. Who are your favorite designers? I love Sabya Sachi, I love Givenchy. Um, I love shop, like I'm not a, like a, brand person per se like I, lo I love shopping at like different places um, so I, I love high street as well um, I love shopping at markets and like buying vintage glasses so yeah I'm very I'm an easy shopper lovely who is your guru my mom definitely my mom what do you eat for breakfast what do I eat for breakfast oh my god I have the most disgusting shake ever it's, um, everybody makes fun of it. It's a shake that includes bananas, 
protein shake, oats, eggs, nuts, dates, coconut oil, and peanut butter. Is it because you love it or because it's healthy? Because it's healthy. And Do you, you think I'd be having that otherwise? Would you? <laughs> So what do you have for lunch and dinner? For lunch and dinner, I don't have, see, the thing with me is I'm blessed with a great metabolism, so I eat whatever I want. I don't believe in like a diet. I try and eat healthy, but in London, I remember everybody used to call me McDonald's because I would just constantly be eating cheeseburgers like whenever I wanted to and they just look at me like, how? Like, why? So I'm, I'm, I eat whatever I want to, but I yeah. work out as well. What's your favorite workout? I do a lot of weight training, but I'm, I've started Pilates and I think that's also a great form of exercise. Just your posture and your, just your core, um, yeah. And okay. Yeah. How would you describe your personal sense of style? Personal sense of style, easy, comfortable and I'm very moody, so it depends. Like if there's a day I want to dress like myself, then I'll just wear boyfriend jeans, kids and a t-shirt. But if I'm feeling like girly, then I'll wear a nice pretty dress, so it depends on my mood really. Must have in any girl's wardrobe? Uh, must have a well fitted pair of jeans. I think that's really important. What is your favorite everyday attire? Boyfriend jeans, a t shirt, and my kids. Okay. My go to outfit. What, according to you, is the most overrated thing fashion wise? I think how everybody's super conscious of getting everything right. You know, like just, just have fun with it. That's what I do at least. What's the most underrated uh, thing fashion-wise? Underrated. Simplicity. What's the most interesting thing that you carry in your bag? Chocolate. Who according to you is the most stylish person in Bollywood? In Bollywood, um, Sonam is super stylish but I also think Neha Dhupia is really stylish. Like, yeah, I really like the way she dresses. I really like the way Anushka Sharma dresses. I think she dresses um, really well for her body type and it's just so like simple, cool and casual and for the guys, I really like Ranbir Kapoor, the way he dresses, again, for the same reasons. Your favourite holiday destination? London. One dish you can't resist, apart from your milkshake. Oh, um, I'm a sucker for burgers, so burgers and french fries with cheese. Your most embarrassing moment ever? I have embarrassing moments every day. I'm the clumsiest person ever. I can be standing straight and I'll fall. So every day, that, I mean, it's just a part of my life. One film you wish you'd acted in? I don't know what character, but Dil Dhadak Ne Do. Except for acting, if you were famous for something, what would it be? Embarrassing moments. Like bloopers on my life. What is the first thing that you observe in the opposite sex? Um, I think um, if they can hold a conversation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which compliment do you receive the most? Um, I think about my eyes and about my hair like you did. My hair. <laughs> One actor married or not you'd like to date? That I'd like to date? Um, Brian Gosling. If you had 10 minutes to dress up, what would you wear? Right now, a really like a fun maxi. I'm obsessed with hoops right now. I don't know why. So hoops and just like tie my hair in a bun. And yeah, clean, nice makeup. If I were to come to your house and open your refrigerator, what would I find? Maltesers. Only or maybe something else? Right now, like a big packet of Maltesers but otherwise lots of cheese um, yeah Maltesers I love chocolate and cheese so you'll find a lot of that one superpower you wish you had read people's mind your favorite actor and actress my favorite actress Anushka Sharma and my favorite actor right now Ranveer Singh I love Ranveer Singh so I believe you're a big fan of Kajol yeah. how come well, I think that's the first memory I've had in a movie theater watching Kuch Kuch Hota Hai so that's, that never leaves me and that's the first like film I actually remember watching and I still watch it and I'm obsessed with her. I think she just has such a great energy on screen. She just lights up the screen. Um, yeah, she's just so amazing. Name one moment in your life that you would like to relive. Um, I think the day I signed Hero, my first film. What's the weirdest thing a fan has done for you? Oh, the weirdest thing. 
I don't know if it's weird, but somebody sent on Valentine's Day. I don't know who it's from, or maybe it's a prank. <laughs> but somebody sent me like a hundred white roses. So I think that was really sweet. Oh, sweet. Yeah. It's so weird. <laughs> if you're given a chance to portray somebody in a biopic, whom would you pick? Um, I don't know the specific person, but definitely something to do with sports. Because I've always I've grown up playing a lot of sports. So something to do with that, okay. yeah. Tell us something about you that would surprise the audience. That would surprise the audience. People think I don't eat, so people think like I'm I'm like I'm very strict with my diet. So like whenever I'm at interviews, they're like, "What do you eat? What is your diet? What is your workout regime?" It's like I don't like I eat everything. I can eat for five people. So I think that would surprise people. I think people have to ask because all actors actresses yeah. are so gorgeous and fit and skinny or whatever. So you know everybody wants to know the formula. Yeah. So I don't have one. I just eat what I want and yeah. Okay, time for a break. When we come back, Athia tells us about her exciting shoot schedule in London. What's your hidden talent? My hidden talent, it's really weird actually. I can dislocate my hip and I can put it back because I'm double jointed. Mm -hmm.